Welcome to Playboy Magazine, March 1971. A nice bright cover for this month, a nice cover model. Quite simple, quite straightforward, nothing too extravagant about it. We've got um, 12 pages on the Girls of Holland. We've got a candid interview with Dick Cavett. We have Playboy Tests, the mini cars, and a revealing portrait of Maya Daly. Uh, into the few first few pages, we've got uh, Lee here, we've got Toyota. Uh, with most cars under $1,800 are for people under six feet. So we've got this era of the smaller car coming in. To rates and cigarettes, we have our playbill. Um, again, nice clean contents page, uh, something uh, that's been revised in the last couple of issues. Uh, we've got Ford Mustang, um, and this is uh, the different style of Mustang. One that I'm not familiar with, certainly uh, at the back, looks very different. It's a bit elongated. Uh, the front still looks good, um, but it says here... Um, is it the proud new profile of this Mac 1? Is it the NASA type hood scoops and competition suspension you get at no extra, co no extra cost? No, Mustang is more. It's greater than the sum of its parts. It's something you have to discover like yourself. Um, so yeah, it's a nice looking Mustang, I think, from the front, perhaps not from the side. Um, but I know there was different variations on the Mustang and all the classics seem to be the ones that everybody wants. Pete Maravich, um, I'm not sure who this gentleman is. I've seen um, pictures and images of him before, but I, I just don't know where from. I, I have to go back and uh, take a look at this. Um, we've got Dear Playboy, uh, The Unmaking of a Muscovite. William F. Buckley's report on Moscow, A Million and One Nights in Soviet Russia, uh, is one of the most um, scintillating and illuminating pieces I've seen on this melon collie subject and one that reinforced my dis de sorry my decision um sorry my decades long non-desire to visit soviet russia or any part thereof i think that's something that most people today realize that soviet russia wasn't a nice place to live we still have certain people of course on the left who have the hammer and sickle flags and all that kind of thing but soviet russia and the countries that it occupied uh, were not places that you would want to live um, speak to any of the people that have come to America or the UK or other parts of Europe and just listen to the stories. Um, we'll go to the next few pages. Um, we've got the good stuff. Uh, and this is anything over two fingers is excessively generous. So that's your measure of uh, Bourbon here, I think, this one. Yeah, Bourbon family. We have a bit more nudity for his clothing. I think this is the first time that this particular brand, um, his... Uh, has featured nudity in it. I haven't seen this before, so that's something a bit a bit bold, something a bit new. Um, we have some nice books here. Inside the Third Reich is uh, a, a great book by Albert Speer, certainly worth um, reading. The Luck of the Scotch, Johnny Walker Red. Uh, welcome to all the new um, sort of watchers of these videos. Um, so if you don't know the style by now, I kind of just go through the magazines, explaining a few things, having a little discussion. Uh, you can pause the video and look at some of the pages wherever you feel there's something you want to read. Even better, sign up at playboy.com to the magazine archive and uh, sort of relax in the sort of full HD experience that you can get from these online. I know YouTube scales back the video sometimes, and obviously we're dealing with quite small text, so sometimes things might blur a little bit, but... All the issues are available online in the magazine archive. Um, but this gives you a good summary of what the magazines are about if you've never really delved into them before. We've got uh, WC Fields. This is the Panasonic Stereo there. Got some more bourbon. Um, a yellow bowl. This is a new style of pipe. There's something really appealing about pipes. I'm not sure what it is. I don't generally like smoking any kind of normal tobacco. Uh, cigars I like, but something about the, the style of a pipe and the, the lighting of it and the smell of a pipe is very different as well. Um, what else have we got here? The Playboy shirt, some more branded clothing. This issue is a little bit lackluster for kind of good features in a way. I mean, some of the photography is nice, um, but it feels like a um, one of those issues that just doesn't deliver too much. It's not bad, but it's not uh, really good either. Um, I've got a selection of Playboy magazines coming over from the States. I paid about two, oh, I think it's about $450 in total for 105 magazines, but the shipping is about $280. Um, so I'm looking forward to those coming over. Various years from 1963, 
Um, so I always keep an eye out on Playboy collections for sale. Playboy binders. And we've got a little getaway here. Of course, the Taj Mahal there. I didn't. I think I've read about the Taj Mahal actually. Just um, that this was built for um, one of the Indian royalty, I guess, his wife. Uh, it was dedicated to her. This huge monument was built solely for her. Um, I can't remember where I read it, but um, I'm sure that's the case. If it isn't, please let me know in the comments. Uh, the abortion gap is here in the Playboy forum. With all the cheering about abortion, law repeal in New York, Alaska and Hawaii, uh, people may think the battle for unrestricted abortion is won. Well, 24 hours before writing this letter, I gave birth to a child whose father had abandoned me. My many attempts to secure an abortion had been unsuccess unsuccessful due to the law in my state and my inability to make arrangements in time and travel anywhere else. I will place my child with an agency for adoption. I had money and some idea of how to go about getting an abortion. Even so, I failed. It breaks my heart to think what must happen to women without financial resources when they get into this predicament. When will all 50 states open their eyes and close the abortion gap? Um, I guess abortion, I've talked about it a little bit before. I'm kind of, you know, for abortion, you should be able to have abortions up to a certain term limit. But the the ultimate goal with abortion is to have a, a society and a family structure where abortion isn't necessary, where perhaps you still have the child because you want it and your family support you in having that child. Of course, we can never apply that to everybody because everyone's circumstances are different. People haven't got these family structures, which is why it's important that you reinforce family. Um, that's just so important and it will help people who get into predicaments where they don't necessarily want to have an abortion, but their hands are tied into having it for financial reasons or family reasons. Um, so we've got some more topics here, Bible truths, we've got cross-continental sex, Playboy as sex education, uh, ecology and technology, um, and sex objects. We've got Sylvania here. Look, quite a lot of letters in for this month. Uh, I think it's a bit of a page filler, I, I believe, um, because they haven't got too many other features for here. We've got the silver thins, uh, sure silver thins. Uh, 100s have less tar than other thins, even less than most kings, but even better, silver thins have taste. America's first thin cigarette is the one with real flavour. Uh, we've got some Michelob beer here as well. Dick Cavett, a candid conversation with a literate, quick-witted television host some critics have called the thinking man's Johnny Carson. Again, not someone I'm that familiar with, but I know in the US you are all very familiar with uh, with him. Uh, you grew up with a different uh, sort of TV schedule to what we have here in the UK. Um, we've got the classic Marlborough Country uh, adverts, some more Harley Davidson. Canadian Mist, got some there. Camel Filters, they're not for everybody, but then they don't try to be. A bit of backgammon going on here. Of course, Hef's... Uh, Favourite game, I think, was Backgammon. And uh, his son, uh, Marston Hefner, I think has wrote a book on uh, Backgammon as well. I don't think Cooper Hefner plays it, but Marston Hefner, I believe, uh, is a big fan of Backgammon. Where I am now when I need me, this is by, by uh, George Axelrod. Could Cathy be as wildly sexy as she sounded in her letters, or was it all just a practical joke? He'd know soon enough. Nice bit of artwork here, it's a little bit different. And we've got some more cartoons. This is by Roland, I think, Wilson on this one. Uh, he did smile, a funny little smile, Dupree said. We'll settle it on the field of honour. Walk-in work of art, Playboy pad. Um, again, I've said before, like the architecture in some of these isn't great. I mean, I'm not a big fan of concrete and squares. Um, I'm much more of a kind of classical architectural person jacobian style victorian i like those kind of old buildings that have the the um the really nice features but it, you know i appreciate the the style of some of these things though it's a little bit different it's a bit quirky for the times every um period in history has its kind of revisions but when i see this kind of thing today knowing that we've got the materials and the skills and the 
uh, equipment to build really lavish homes with really nice style. It does kind of annoy me a little bit. Uh, Polluted Man, this is fantasy by Arthur uh, Kretschmer. Uh, the survival of the fittest is one thing, but what was Darwin ready for? Sorry, but was Darwin ready for Homo effluvians? So a very odd looking thing here. Polluted Man. We have the curious story of Sherry in Wonderland. Uh, so this is uh, Sherry Latimer, an actress. She did about, I think, four or five films, like main films. Uh, but a nice looking uh, pictorial here. I like the sort of dress and style. Really nice looking. And here we have some uh, actors. There. I can't remember his name now. Uh, uh, Donald Sutherland there. And here she is in a bit more of a, a revealed state. Again, we have some more hair, so I'm not going to keep mentioning it, but we are in the era now of pubic hair in the magazine, so that's something that's going to keep cropping up, but that will probably be the last time I mention it. I've got Shark Here by Peter Mathi Mathis sorry, Mathias Mathiasen. That's it, Peter Mathiasen. An author, journalist, and a team of filmmakers set out in quest of the most fearsome creature in the sea and find it. Uh, Eric Sokol here. Now that we know each other, Mr. Radcliffe, can't you stop referring to me as occupant? Uh, the Mini Revolution. This is by Ken W. Purdy, our automobile, automobile person. He's done lots of features on cars over the years. Some of the more luxury end, some of the smaller end. So here's all of your stats for these cars. The Roots of Radicalism, uh, a psychoanalyst and a sociologist diagnosed the environmental factors that mould young people into enemies or defenders of the status quo. We've got Richard Flax and Bruno Bettelheim, which is a, a nice article, actually, because there's lots of talk of um, radicalism today on the left and the right. And it seems to be those two factions, as usual, which are causing problems for everyone generally in the middle who just wants to kind of get on with things and enjoy their life and have good politics and you know accept other people's views but um today we have this backwards and forwards and censorship and this kind of thing so i like these features when they come up it kind of just reminds me that this isn't something new this isn't something that we've beaten before it's something that's been battled for a long time got snow bunny here lake geneva's cottontail playmate cynthia hall takes a frosty fun and games foray into the ivy league so here we have her some uh some, you know some good photos um not as good as the last couple of playmates that we've had uh, i'll just show you the center fold here um we have buck brown you really miss the sea don't you captain and there he is um in front of his fireplace buck brown's um you know classic style of cartoon you'll recognize it whenever you see it um one artist that you wouldn't have seen recently if you're a new viewer is uh, one called Jack Cole, uh, a very good Indian ink artist. I'd recommend you head back to some of the earlier issues when he featured or just Google him, look at his names. Um, and let's like Google his name and you'll find some um, magazines that he uh, designed and some that kind of thing, cartoons. But he also did some artwork for Playboy, but a very good uh, artist. Thomas Mario here, and this is in uh, Mexico Sea. Neighborly dishes to turn a feast into a fiesta. I have to admit, I do like Mexican food. Uh, something about it is very Moorish. Um, we don't get great Mexican in the UK. We have some chain restaurants, but I know in, in the US you've got some great um, Mexican food there. Um, fiction by James Kahn. We have being stuck inside a mailbox offers a golden opportunity to do some light reading, but it really can't beat an orgy. So... Of course, we're referring back to uh, some sex there. So I skipped a couple of pages. We've got Smart Enough to Go Out in the Rain, Robert L. Green. Fresh looking foul weather wear that doesn't give a damp. So some nice coats here. Again, the style is always spot on with um, Thomas Mario in his features. I mean, it seems like there's someone else just dedicated to his um, illustrations. It's, it's really nicely done. Um, Alberto Vargas, of course, with his uh, artwork. So again, very nicely done. The Three Students, fiction by Ellery Queen. Grand larceny in the groves of academe with some low-grade doggerel providing the only clue. 
um, from Russia with limericks by J.F. O'Connor. Amsterdam. So we've got a little travel piece here by Reg Potterton. So just your kind of average, you know, travel piece. Have a little read through that, a little bit of uh, photography in there. And then we head on to the girls of Holland. The ancient canals and windmills are still there. But the Netherlands' is new breed of women have kicked off their inhibitions along with their wooden shoes. So quite an in-depth um, pictorial here. Some really nice photos as well. I don't think Playboy's done the Girls of Holland or Amsterdam before. Um, they've been to many places, uh, uh, you know, all over Europe. And uh, I think they've been to Asia as well. Um, not the Middle East, but um, some nice photos here. So we have John Dempsey, one of his cartoons, and Executive Chess. This is by Hal Higdon. In today's boardrooms, the old guard organization man is likely to be outwitted and outflanked by the crafty master of job jumping. His owner, uh, this is by Mike Royko, a day in the life of the last of the big city bosses. Uh, we've got folks, F folks. Um, so Michael folks, not folks, and our devilish cartoonist is up to scratch as he hotfoots it through the nether regions. So some of these little cartoons here. You don't cop out, why should your cigarette? Uh, only new vantage lets you give up those high tar cigarettes without asking you to cop out on flavor. So you still have this era of uh, cigarette brands all claiming to be the healthiest. Uh, we've got the Plymouth Satellite, America's lowest price two-door intermediate. Uh, I just wonder what engine this has here. I'm just trying to have a quick look. I meant to come back and look at this when I read through. I guess it's a big, big engine V8, you know, one of the big uh, 400 cubic inch engines, whatever. I think it's 400 cubic inch, something like that. Um, the Girls of Holland continues here. Gay and Wilson, I understand at one time the Earth wasn't at all like the Moon. Um, sports jackets by McGregor. Metaxa makes a miserable martini. Uh, stop smogging, and this is uh, start smoking lark. It's got that gas trap filter. Of course, a new gimmick to make you think it's healthy. Again, anyone watching for the first time, you know I'm not against smoking uh, in general if it's something that you want to do, but you should obviously um, consider why you're doing it and maybe cut back and just have it as something that you enjoy rather than something you have as a habit. Um, so some little uh, filler pieces here, some odd cartoons and little strips there so not i say not the best issue um still good though i'm looking forward to getting into 1971 i've been kind of skipping ahead a little bit and looking at some odd features that i've seen in the 71 um era magazines uh, sorry 72 magazines um there's a great one coming up in march uh sorry not march 71 coming up in i think it's either april or may there's a really nice uh, centerfold coming up quite a significant centerfold as well historically and i'll explain all of that as and when that issue comes up but that's the next one but 72 also is very good as well so um there's plenty coming our way more buck brown here And we're almost at the end. So we have um, some more small little adverts here. Odd things. Uh, Aqua Velva. Some other little herbal treatments. Back of the magazine stuff. I'd still love to speak to someone who worked in the advertising for Playboy. Who, or who perhaps ran the ads or sold the ads. Just how much they were charging at the time for certain things. Um, next month we have Playboy panel, homosexuality, experts and exponents candidly discuss the sociological and psychological causes and consequences of sexual inversion. Richard Matheson with Jewel 
We've got Vadim's Pretty Maids uh, from a French movie. The Death of Liberalism by Jack Newfield. Big Government Social Engineering. Cold War Anti-Communism. Another simplistic solutions of the old American left have become part of the problem. Again, it should be a really good feature. I haven't read it yet, but it kind of, um, you know, it's something that we're dealing with today. Um, so I'm hoping to draw some ties between the present day and that particular article. Sixth Sense by uh, Jules Siegel. Uh, we've got Soul Braun with Great Scott. Playboy's Hip Quiz. Um, pull through with the Miss Malawi contest and that's pretty much it I'm not going to go too much in more into those pieces there we'll just go to the back page and we've got some cool cigarettes as I've finished I'll see you on um, probably Thursday this week for the next video thanks for liking subscribing and all the comments that come through they are starting to increase so I appreciate any feedback that you have um, have a good week and I'll see you in a few days